I've had a couple people ask me uh, after that uh, tray video I did for Mother's Day uh, how I wrap the handle. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can do a, any kind of wrap for a handle or anything else that you need. Uh, I've done it with bow strings. Um, the way I do it, I was taught by a guy a long time ago. He was an old golf pro back when they had wooden golf clubs and they used to whip the end of the clubs. And um, So you start any wrap. You can just lay your string down and, and do a couple of wraps over the top of that uh, on a start. And you can, depending on what you're doing, you can glue it down. Um, you just get that wrapped under. And then after four or five wraps, it's usually enough. You could snip that if you wanted to. I'm not going to because this isn't anything I want to wrap. It's just a demo. But we'll get out past the end of that. And one of the ways that you'll see a lot of people do this, um, and I've done it before, I just don't like it, is you get a loop of something and you lay it down and then wrap that loop under a few times. And then you can take the end of your string and go through that loop like that. And now you've got that trapped in there and then you can pull this and you can pull that through. And uh, I don't like that because it's really hard to do sometimes. It gets really hard to pull that whole mess through. I've had the string that I'm using to pull it through break, uh, and then you're kind of stuck halfway through and you have to pull it back out. Sometimes it breaks depending on what kind of string you need to wrap with, it'll break. And sometimes you'll pull one, one end uh, and it'll slide out and you don't have the whole thing wrapped. So instead of doing that, I'll show you what I did on the Mother's Day video, what you want to do is raise up a loop like that, give yourself a, a tent or whatever, and then wrap inside of that going the other way. So that just goes up from the wrap that I had, up over my thumb, and then it goes back down on the other side, and then just wrap five or six loops inside of that. So there's one, two, three. And then all you have to do is wrap over those. So I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So you get enough of those in and then take that and go underneath what you've been wrapping. And then just continue to wrap that around. So as we're wrapping it on to what has been the handle, you're going to be unwrapping it off the other. So there's one, two, three, four. And you'll do that till you just got your one loop left. Now I just have one loop. Turn this around like this. And now all I got to do is just pull this loop tight. And then, of course, you'd snip this. A uh, couple of advantages to that you could put as many wraps as you want on it. Uh, if you want more than five, you could go all the way down. Something you'd never be able to pull a string through. Uh, but you can do it this way and then you just snip it right there and put a little uh, drop of super glue on it and you've got whatever you want wrapped up wrapped up um, and it's real secure and there's no waste you never waste any of your string material um, and it gets a good tight handle so that's how i did it those of you that were wondering um, that's all there is to it